No. No, you just bit a piece off. CCTK Radio proudly presents the Week Review. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Well, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. <laughs> Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew starring Jack who's all up in your face. I'm Paul. That's Drew and that's Jack. This is a show where we talk about things from last week. And the things that may happen next week, and yes, it's very weak. It's known as The Other Show. Where non-interesting people never try to act interesting. We're also the show, The Other Show. Yeah. Where everything's made up and the points don't matter. You can join the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We do welcome your participation. We broadcast live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. You can listen at 100.3 FM on your radio dial. Or streaming at using your Listen to My Radio app. Plus, you can watch all the live action on Facebook Live on our page. But it's easier just to go to KCTK Radio and click Listen Live. Then you're listening and you're ready to go. Also, you can watch all the past adventures on YouTube at the KCTK Radio channel whenever you want. But that's not all. The program is offered as a podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, SoundCloud, Podbean, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Himalaya, Pandora, Overcast, Stitcher, Instagram, you can even ask Alexa to have my pod play KCTK Radio or anywhere you get your favorite podcast. Welcome to the program. Um, we are here on a Thursday night. I don't think we were here last week. Um, I think the reason, if you want to get real technical, let me look it up. So I didn't feel like doing it. What do you think of that? Uh, you're the boss, man. You're yeah. one of the bosses, man. You and Mac, bro. Mac. Mac. You and Mac. He don't know nothing. Mac's the money. You're the smile. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're the smile. You're the smile that everybody is everybody's hooked to. Appreciate that, man. You're welcome, Appreciate dude. Uh, I don't know if you if uh, this is gonna be a fun show because uh, I haven't introduced him yet, my co-host or my two co-hosts. But uh, one of my co-hosts has his daughter sitting in his lap, which is great. And I ha- actually have Jack sitting in my lap the whole time. <laughs> so it's really kind of nice. So here he is, uh, the man that makes it all happen, the guy who can't seem to get away from his wife and kid. Here he is, the Droosh. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Droosh, a.k.a. Are you crying? A.k.a. There's no crying in baseball. Yeah. Someone asked him, what, why is he doing AKs of movie quotes? and Also known as. Yeah. Otherwise known as. I always thought it was, but I guess not. But No, that's fine. I think I think they were good this time. What's that from? What's that quote Who from? Uh, League of Their Own. League of oh, Their Own. Is that why uh, Quinn is dressed up as a baseball player right now? That's right. That's right. She's all about making that money in the major leagues. Now, I'm very excited because if you can watch on Facebook Live or if you're um, going to watch us on any of the other methods that we have. <laughs> Quinn is there. Hi, Quinn. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> oh, she she can't those, see me. What are those called? Ponytails? Um, she has two bows in her Pigtails. Pigtails. Pigtails, yeah. And it looks like she has a little bit of copy. She's got her script. I wrote her a script. Well, I'm she's, glad doing, she's doing great. I'm glad you're here, Quinn. Um, anytime you're ready to take over for your father, we are ready to do that. Whenever Look at her. She's excited. Yeah. 
It's a week. <laughs> it's a week review. Let's see. Let's see what Kermit has to say about this. Yeah, uh, I don't know how you knew I was going to talk about and everything, but uh, it's the week. It's the week review. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Hey, yeah, it's the week review with Kermit and Quinn. Hey, Quinn, you want to do? Hi. I do podcasts and everything like that. Okay, great. All right, so thanks, Kermit. We uh, now we know why we haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, let's introduce uh, the other guy that makes it all happen. He is such a big deal. He went on many different podcasts. Was it last week? And man, you 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 showed up to the Tracy's Tips and Dips. You showed I did. up to the the past week, and then there's next week, and the. The fans. I've been kind of. I just. I kind of just want to walk down the studio sometimes and see where it takes me. I, I walk in different doors and then I just wind up in different places and it's crazy. The world of KCTK. Well, Jack is here. We're glad he's here. Sometimes he isn't. Um, I'm glad to be here though. He is not in college now because I. I'm in college, but I'm not. What? Yes. He's going to check. Yeah, we shut that uh, door up there. Yeah, thank you. I just uh, got a, a uh, question for the landlord if the, if Blue, the official puppy of the week review, has been fed, and she certainly has it. Yeah, you're the landlord of the place. Yeah. So anyway, Drew. Yeah. KCTK Radio. This has worked out real good for Jack. Yeah, so I so he has flunked out of college. Original point: I am he, in college, and he flunked out of college. I did not flunk Wait. out. Of college. But you're using the 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 quarantine as the excuse. Yes. News of the Druish Jack has flunked out of college. I have not flunked out of college. Okay. Not well, yet. it's the news from the Druish, so it's accurate. Okay, just like oh yes, stuff. best journalism you'll find across America. But are exactly. you done? Are you done with? Any commitment you have? The semester is, is over. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, are you doing any summer school? Nope. Um, are you on track for two more years? Yep. Okay. How many more credit hours do you have? Um, I I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if the top of my number. I think I don't know if they're required to 120 or 150. It's one of those two, somewhere around it's probably, there. It's probably 30 hours a year for four years. Oh yeah. Okay, it's so you have 60. Yeah, okay, then yeah. I should so, have known that off the top so of my head. So do you think you have 60 now? Yeah, Okay. I should. Okay. Did you know Drew? Um, That's not true. I withdrew from a class uh-oh. last semester. That's all right. Next summer you can pick him up. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Extra I'll, pay, I'll, pick it, I'll pick it up. What did Drew do? You were on the, uh, you got a 3.9 or something on your undergrad? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's he, not an undergrad. He, he told me he told me that the other night, and I just don't believe him. What did he? Got, I'm gonna like, get my transcript. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email you my transcript. You, know, you can suck it. Yeah. Okay. So your what was your grade point average when you graduated college? Um, I don't remember that. My grade point average was G three point six. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry that you can't believe me that I I actually am intelligent. I know it's hard. Educated to adult. I read. I'm educated, and I like to read them books, them book learning. You blew it. You had it all, and you blew it. You blew it. You blew it. I blow it. You blew it. Listen. How did I blow it? Grades have nothing to do with your intelligent level, and I think that is a fact. That's a good one. And I would believe more that you got a three six than that you're intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No hitting. Oh, sorry about that. He, did you see him get turn dad? He turned into a dad there for a second. Yeah, I did. I <laughs> Scared did. me a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, what, what's before we get into our features that everyone's clamoring for? They're giving us a call at nine one three seven three five zero zero six zero. They're saying get to the features. Um, what's been going on? I mean, in the world. Well, um, the world has decided to open up again, and I think it's a terrible idea, but I get it. People need to make money, and it's all about the money. So apparently people's health doesn't no matter. So you don't, want, you don't want to open up ever? No, I do once there's a vaccine or close to one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or at least two months later when they actually have a plan. What's your thought on this, Jack? 
Uh, uh, I, uh, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, the country, money has to be moved. It has to be yeah. somehow. It, it just has to be. We can't. We can't close every. I. We should. We should have planned before, but at the point that we're at right now, I think the smart thing to do is to open up the country. But I mean, everybody should still be careful. You should still be mindful yeah. of yourself. But I think, like, we can't. T- we can't just wait. We can't wait anymore. That's my. Well, and I get that. It's just. I mean, people aren't exactly still playing. It's safe. But, like, but, you are, but also, here's the thing. The people, I, agree, I completely agree with you. But and also, the people who who care are the ones who are going to play it safe. And if you if you, I mean, if you do your part, you won't get sick. See, you know? here's the problem I see it as is that every either people want to uh, have everything locked down where you can't even go get a haircut. Or they want to open up everything and you can do everything. Mm-hmm. We need to be smart about this and open up things in a, in a smart way. Yeah. And, and by location. Like oh, if, I, if I agree area, as well. If you're in an area that isn't hit that much, then maybe you can get away with it. They're actually, they're test, actually talking about that. They're actually talking about moving both the Rams, the L.A. Rams uh-huh. and the L.A. Chargers, over to Las Vegas. Yeah, I heard that. Now, that... Why? Because California is locked down. it's locked down. They're they ain't gonna get better anytime soon. You know, and if they want some sort of sports league to continue, they're gonna you move know the what teams. They did? Um, the governor's already canceled classes for the fall and call it. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't make sense to me. That that to me doesn't you're not using it's the right a bad, facts. It's a bad I and I'm think I'm not even thinking about it from a coronavirus perspective. Our education system mm-hmm. is not prepared for all online school mm-hmm. because online school is too easy to cheat. Yeah, and that is a fact. You can. There are loopholes for everything. That's how. That's how Drew got three six. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. It's, that's called intelligence. I was gonna. Say, it's not. It's not hard to cheat. Okay. Good. That's that's good to know. But I don't think that you can make a decision for September in May. I think you need you don't have enough facts. I think I, I think you can I think you can make those decisions but be open to going reverting yes. your change. I think you that can go sense. at this point of view, this isn't gonna happen and that's how it is. Expect this if things change, we can get better, we can go back. But at this point I'm expecting nothing to like mm. might as well early close down. I mean No, I, I, I think you'd like close down. But anyway, no one cares what you think. As, yeah, I don't care. They only care about the news of the Druish. The news? That was, pretty, that was pretty serious. Yeah. So, Jack, you're going to like this story. I like this I story. guarantee it. You're just like, it's just like Men's Warehouse. You're going you're gonna to love your way you look. Okay? So NASA's working on a warp drive. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go Jack. What, what is a warp drive, sir? So a warp drive is to bend is to fold a dimension and go through uh, at a shorter distance while not breaking the speed of light. Okay. So space. So if you so if you if you were to explain this to a 6-year-old <laughs> how, how would you explain it? Okay, so from point A, let's say Earth, okay? To let's say I wanted to go to Pluto, which is point D or whatever, I would fold space and time using the using. Uh, so you so instead of having to go A B C D, you're gonna fold it so you go A to D. Correct. So you skip everything in between. That's right. Okay, I'm picking up with your button down. I mean, have you anyone seen Star Trek, or am I crazy? Never seen Star Trek. You know, I saw. You've never seen Star Trek. No, I haven't. I saw this episode of uh, Rick and Morty though. So go ahead. Yeah. Okay, and also they have it in Star Wars as well. It's called. Right. They do it all the time. Hyperdrive. Oh, right, right. So that's. Oh my God, you call yourself a fan? That's what they're working on. Yeah, they're working on it. It's you know they're trying to get the theory correct. I mean, the technology obviously isn't going to be around, but they're working on it in the for the future. So when somebody eventually figures it out and be able to create the technology to do so, they're, they're ready. The building blocks. What are your yeah. sources? Is your sources Sheldon Cooper? Uh, no, it is not Sheldon Cooper. I can tell you my source right here and now. Would you like to hear it? Penny, it's called Popular Mechanics. It's a magazine. Penny, what's Penny's last name? I don't 
know Penny's last name. Leonard, what's Leonard's last name? Hofstetter. Or wait, Penny no. Hofst- is this no, Penny Hofstetter? No, Hofstetter's the... the... <laughs> Fuck. Um, which one I is it? I we forget the number one show in the world. <laughs> yeah? You know what? No, that's Stuart. Is that Stuart? Penny? No. Penny? Howard. Howard Hofstetter or whatever. That's Howard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's Leonard. Leonard's last name? Let's just call her Penny and Leonard. But... Uh, Penny Leonard. So they're they're doing this on the popular mechanics. That's right. They're doing this on the popular mechanics. It's a magazine. Okay. So, so it's it's reliable, more reliable than Fox News. Do you know Fox Do you know how much the subscription to the magazine is? Oh, I don't know. I have a, a news app, so I just get it. For Let me ask you this question: oh. Are you looking to do this so I can go to I don't know L.A. to watch the Rams quicker, or I go to Uranus. First off, you're not going to my Uranus, okay? okay. Is it my Uranus or your Uranus? Let's say Uranus. Pluto then. Is this for me to travel in space or for me to yeah. travel here on Earth? This is so we can find other places around the galaxy, bro. This is for time. This is for this kid so she can become one of the first generations for space travel. Hmm. Real space travel. That is true. That generation is going to be the like commercial space travel. That generation. That? That's what they said about my generation. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. And nothing happened with you. You guys didn't have these. I mean, look there's at this. No, there's no. There's no government funded. Uh, real. They don't fund NASA like they used to. You used to wear a T-shirt that said NASA. You don't even do that anymore. NASA's gone. NASA's gone forever. We have to rely on uh, Elon Musk and his weird son's name. Can you pronounce his his the he name? It sounds of like an android. I cannot. Try it. <laughs> I I I. I Axel fucking fucking wooden. Well, Axel. I'm gonna call him sorry. twelve. I'm gonna call him twelve from now on. I'm gonna call him Axie. Will you tell think everybody? The virtual an AX8. <laughs> Will you tell everybody what his name is? Jack. Let me flip the camera to you. <laughs> Did you have to hear what I said? What? I said I'm just gonna call the kid twelve. I know, but tell me tell everybody what his name is. I don't know his name. You texted to me the other day. Oh. So it's an X space, then this weird character that looks like an A and an X put together. Which I guess is called Ash. I heard that somewhere. It's okay. called an Ash. And then space A minus twelve. Now let's do this again. X <laughs> X, uh-huh. and then an AX, AX, and then an A minus twelve. A minus twelve. Oh, the AX are together. Yes. A minus twelve. Okay. Let me see. Let me see how you wrote it down. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So I, if I saw him, I'd say, "Hey, nice to meet you, young Mr. Musk." Or can I call you A Ash A minus twelve? That's his name. Yeah. Okay. Or call him fuckface. Oh, it's a little kid, man. Oh, wow. That's easy to get made fun of anyway. His brain's gonna be bigger than Elon's. As my uncles have explained to me many times, you have to name a child that will not get made fun of. Sounds like go fuck yourself. It is wow. an important job. Yeah. 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 Quinn. She's not gonna get made fun of for that name. It's a great name. What's her, what's her full name though? Quinn Maya. Oh, mm. Loboda. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm at this. Maya, really? Quinn Maya Lavoda. That name will be spelled correctly all the time, won't it? Yeah, yeah I think it will. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for keeping us up to date. You kind of ventured a little bit into uh, Jack's tech talk. I did. You yeah, did. So, but we'll go to tech news anyway. Tech news with Jack. <laughs> tech news with Jack. Yeah. There's not a lot going on right now, man. There's not a lot of movement in the in the world because everything's shut down. Everybody's using Zoom, though. Everybody's here. That stock went up very high. Do you think this is going to change us the way we do work? No. You don't think there'll be more people working from home? If people can work from home I think now... It, I, think it, I think it's... I think more in-home jobs are going to... That's what I mean. Become a thing from this? Mm-hmm. Why would a company need uh, a to pay for a building, a building, and electricity, and all that stuff? That's a good. That's that's a great question. My wife works from home because you know because you know how popular it is to work from home now because yeah. people like being home. My wife works from home and she has a laptop. Does she prefer to Everything work from home? Everything else is mine. I pay for it. The internet, the electricity, 
the the she's just computer print. screen. She's I basically she's basically printing money. Printing money. Yeah. For them. Oh yeah. Otherwise, she your landlord. Go, your landlord. Yeah. Otherwise, she'd have to go in and you know use their elevator or use their you know coffee. Yeah. I think this is going to fundamentally change. And what about the Zoom thing? Do you do a lot of Zoom meetings, either one of you guys? No, I do not. No, this is my only Zoom meeting. Okay, isn't it pleasant? Isn't it just great to hang out with Drew this way? Okay, but I know. I don't have to change? see your guys' faces up close. But, at here's, all but here's the thing. Okay. We've had this Skype. We've had all this stuff before. I know, but no. What makes it? Us, what makes it so? What? What because, makes Zoom so great? Well, because we thought it would be easier. We thought it just would be easier. Just, I'd just come on over. I'd be easier. But it's so pleasant for Drew not to be here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's. The, the, and so, it, I'll be. I'll be like, oh, just use technology. I'll be doing that forever now. Uh, still, the I still don't understand. Like, we've had this technology. I know, but people didn't use it because they didn't know how. They weren't forced to use it, but now they do. You're right. You're right. Okay, you're right. I'm right. right. That was good tech news. You're right. You're right. Um, <laughs> tech, that was tech news. I did, tech news wasn't even on the schedule. I didn't. I, I don't put you on the schedule because I never really know what I'm going to do or if you're coming. That's true. Sorry, my kid grabbed a drill. Oh, my God. Grabbed a drill? What do you mean? There's a drill sitting in my office. You grabbed it. Why is there a drill in your office? He's trying to do some drilling. Drilling all over the place, man. I'm drilling the walls, putting up stuff. You drill. I'm drilling. What's that red thing behind you? Oh, that's a statue I made. Let's take a look at it. A statue? Yeah. It's a lamp. Yeah, show us. It's a lamp. There's no no shade of it? It's a pothos. Can you the, pick it up and show it? Pick it up and show it to us. I'm not picking it up. It's huge. Okay, pick up your laptop then. No, I'm not picking it up. I don't. I think it's a. I think yeah, it's a I think lamp. I think you suck. I think you suck because you're not showing us the lamp. I think it's a broken lamp. I think it's a broken lamp, and I would give it an F in an art school Me project. Too. Yeah, well, that's weird because I got a freaking A plus. Yeah, but you probably you There's definitely no didn't get an A plus. You There's did no, not no get an A plus. Yeah, either. yeah, you don't gotta flip off the camera, buddy. Made with solo cups and uh, yeah. an actual lamp. Well, I bet, you, I bet Jesus you. Christ, is that a real degree? What solo cups? Yeah, I want to pick it up. Come on, let's see it. Yeah, dude, it's There's solo cups. People pick up the cup and asking us to show it. Okay. Or at least turn it on. Jesus. No, I it, it burnt out a long time ago. It doesn't work. It's a broken lamp, but it worked. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a sketchy. Uh, I said it was broken. I never said it worked. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not. I don't see the whole thing. It's getting cut off by the camera. Where, um, how long is this mother? That's <laughs> what I said. That thing is dead. You did it. You know and thing? I have a I have a platform that I attach it to, and it's all like made of glass. You know what that? You know what that is? What garbage? Thanks. <laughs> Worked really hard on it, but thanks. No, I, I think it was great. I think it's great, Drew. Thank you. Do you really, thanks, Jack? No, you just tell the guy. Oh, oh what an <laughs> asshole. Wow. I'm just kidding. What I do. I do. A dick. Hey, do you guys know about the uh, conspiracy theory called Film Your Hospital? No. No. Well, I've heard well, about it. I want you to listen to this news news coverage, okay? Okay. Some people have been saying online that the virus is harmless or even that it doesn't exist. Oh, it's boy. been made up. And they filmed these videos to prove it. It's scandalously calm. Nous sommes dans le hall okay. du plus gros hôpital Toulouse. Sorry, guys. This is a, a, a French guy. He's speaking French, and I'll, I'll read what he's saying. I want some context, please. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you heard what the lady said, right? The, that she, people think that it's fake, mm-hmm. so they're filming what's happening inside the hospitals. Right. So, here's what this guy's filming. It's unbelievably quiet. Nous sommes dans le We're in the entrance hall of the biggest Toulousain hospital. D'urgence. En fait, tout est incohérent. Nothing C'est makes sense. It makes even less sense than 9 11. COVID 19 testing center, a single, solitary soul. Shut down the entire country and 43,000 employees at Walt Disney World laid off today because of this. Was mich wundert, das ist doch nicht der. The emergency situation described in the media doesn't exist here. The emergency room is basically empty. Clearly, there is no COVID-19 epidemic whatsoever. All of these videos have the hashtag film your hospital. Okay, so here's what's going on. These guys are going to the lobby of the hospitals 
and even a testing center and saying, well, there's no one here. This is all hoax. Okay. You know what I call that? What? I mean, obviously, they're doing something right if there's nobody there. Well, and they're doing hashtag film your hospital. But then this explains it. The idea first started spreading in conservative American circles. Of course. This Republican, former candidate for Congress, called on her followers to share the false claim. Share. Just like other influencers who say that COVID-19 is a lie. But these people only filmed the entrance halls and receptions of emergency departments. Mm -hmm. As soon as you're inside, where patients with the virus are being treated, it's a different story. This is what it's like in the ER of a New York hospital. I'm about ready to walk into the ED. We'll see what the situation's like. Things are just totally crazy right it, And they're showing footage of just, it's jam-packed of people and equipment and everything. Here is oxygen. It just packed. Those videos of empty corridors are because hospitals have had to reorganize everything in order to respond to the outbreak. All non-urgent appointments and surgeries have been cancelled and no visitors are allowed. All of the action is now in the intensive care units. These kinds of theories shared online can make people believe that the pandemic isn't serious and that can have dangerous consequences. In the US and in Canada, people have been fooled by these false claims and are protesting against lockdown measures. That not only makes the lives of healthcare professionals harder, it also puts other people at risk. Over the last so anyway, just another another uh, conspiracy theory when it comes to it. And what was interesting, uh, we did a podcast last night with Tracy's Tips and Dips. What did you think of it, Drew? Um, I thought it was really great. I hope she pulls through. Thanks. Uh, her, 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 her mom passed away. She was 87 years old of coronavirus, and then she has the coronavirus. Tracy does. Oh, really? I explained to her that that my other co-host drew will be trying to contract it too just because he's trying to uh, keep up with her because he wants to be the most popular podcaster but uh it's a real thing it just happens to hit people in a different way yeah you know i think it's crazy that the u.s now is like like eighty nine thousand deaths from this and a couple months ago dr Fauci, fauci or whatever his name is said yeah we should expect a hundred thousand deaths yeah and I'm like, oh, damn, dude, we're already there. But it's got to be really weird for you guys as young guys, and especially you, Jack, because you're younger, you're less susceptible to getting sick, and all your shit's been cut cut down. You can't go to school. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to be like, have this feeling, This is this even real? Mm-hmm. Well, it's it makes older people sick yeah and something that is and this is kind of something for me mm-hmm. um you like this has never happened in your guys' lives no no one's alive no no one no no one who's alive right now has gone right. through something like this right and what's weird to me is i have such an illusion in my head that you guys have already gone through everything i've gone through that yeah. this really from my eyes and I, I know, I know, like other people really do it differently, but I really don't see this as like a huge deal for me personally. Mm-hmm. Like I'm living at home, I'm still with my parents, everything's fine, stuff like that. But like, I feel like the adults have it taken care of. Like you, like you guys, feel, like you guys know what you're doing, blah blah blah, like whatever. But you guys have never seen this before. No. Neither have I. Does that make no. sense? What I'm saying, the way that I see it. Like yeah. I seriously, I, I have a little bit less care because I'm expecting kind of like my parents and all the adults of the world to take just oh, take I care am. of it i seriously i think a lot of other kids also my whole generation we're just sitting here we're like can you guys please fix this for us because I'm, we are reliant on you guys to know what the hell you're doing so we I'm can survive really glad you have that misperception that the older generation knows what they're doing yeah because they don't know they don't know jack squat it's okay your your generation still going to spring break and, and, I, and, and i think it's all that shit. and i think that's what's kind of weird is that like I, you've probably grown up you're 50 50 something years old now oh boy, here we go and <laughs> 52 yeah. and you probably still you and your whole generation probably still feel like you guys don't know a lot of stuff you oh, guys probably you're happy, or you probably well, see people I'm, doing stuff that you're like they are probably not smart enough to be doing things no, like that i'm old enough to do, i'm old enough now to realize that nobody knows anything so there you go and that's kind of what i'm getting like i'm starting so, to learn that so i'm glad that yeah it's a lifelong learning 
Drew, you're in the middle. Thoughts? Um, I think that yes and no we have it figured out, but at the same time we don't because yeah. clearly shit's still crap. But I can I can see your optimism, Jack, and I yeah. applaud it. But have you ever have you ever thought about um, perhaps taking Quinn and giving it to like a person who could be a good father? <laughs> what? Uh, I could really try. Yeah. Uh, what? I don't understand what you just asked. No, I just there's no way that kid with Drew the father can. I mean, she deserves a good father. Why can't she? <laughs> you know. Hey, guess what? She does. She has one. I'm pretty. Maybe, uh, I, I think she does. I think maybe she's your, got a good maybe dad. your your wife's. Maybe her father could do it. Hey, anyway, I'm just joking. Around. <laughs> you know, you always know if you ever feel ba- if you ever feel overwhelmed by being a father. Yeah. Here, let's do this. Let's make sure we got this. Whoops, sorry. This guy right here. Yeah. Raised two of them. Yeah. Certainly, I know. I, I, I always easy. ask them how they're doing. Certainly, you can do it. That should be pretty easy. I always ask them. I'm like, so how was it living with Paul? Is it, or do you guys call him Dad, uh, or that guy, that guy that lives in my house? We got one of our one of our number one, actually one of my number one fans, um, who I'm fans of hers. Says, "Tell Drew to speak into the microphone. Can't hear what he's saying." I am yeah. speaking in the microphone. Lady by the name of, of Lindsay, which reminds me. Oh, snap. I want to sh- just sh- show you. Did you see this, Jack? I didn't. I was here when you got it. This is a... Uh, this is this is a gold coin with Donald lucky Trump's gold face coin. on it. And I have, not, I have not got... If you buy this... Um, if you want to buy this from me, we'll start the bidding at five thousand dollars. But anyway, if you have this coin given to me by someone who used to work in healthcare, um, you will not get the coronavirus. <laughs> the coronavirus will see they'll see the coin and they'll say, "I'm not messing with that. That's Trump. Everything he does is magical, and uh, I'm certainly I'm not going to mess with him." So he's the next Messiah. He really is. Next, he's it. Praise him. Praise him. Yeah. Praise him. Hey, we've had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of laughs. We've we've joked sometimes. No, we haven't joked at all this time. I'm sorry, I brought that. Yeah, it's been pretty a pretty serious talk so far. Honestly. Sorry about that, but let's let's um let's learn something from the Y dude, shall we? Yay! Okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I wonder why, I wonder why, now it's time to learn why. Today's question comes from Sally. It's a repeat. Sally asks, why dude, why did I have a dream that my boyfriend is cheating on me? Well, Sally, having a dream where your boyfriend is cheating can often feel so real. You might even accuse your boyfriend of cheating. These dreams are uncomfortable to have and may even be disturbing. Oftentimes, dreams about infidelity are rarely about cheating, but rather more about your own feelings of insecurity. Now you know. I wondered why, I wondered why, now we know why. That's the Y dude I, exclusively on the week review. I will say this. Yeah. The Y dude, like, he could probably tell me the same thing, and I would still love love it. Yeah. Every day. Well, that explains why people cheat on me. That gets it. It's my own insecurity. Really? Really? Yeah. Don't you have a wife? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's why he's got his wife locked in that room with him. Uh, do you guys, have you guys been having okay dreams during this pandemic? No. I don't dream very often. I've been having a lot of zombie apocalypse dreams. This oh. guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> Come on, let's hear some of them, dude. Uh, all right, so, by the way, you two don't survive. Sorry. Oh, we were in the dreams? <laughs> yeah. You know, what the they family, say, uh, you know what they say? The you know what they say about people that dream about you? What's that? What? What's that? That they, that they uh, want to kiss you. Okay, okay well... Explain that your dream, Drew. This okay, dream. so I don't know where we're all at a family picnic or a barbecue, and I don't know where 
the zombies who get coronavirus turn into people that turn to, uh, to zombies from the coronavirus and start chasing us around. Wow. By the way, Jack does not survive. That's good. I'm you what? Get pounced on by three. Me and Paul make it to a really uh, awesome gun store, right? Me and the rest of the uncles and everybody make it in our families, except for Jack, make it to a gun store. And that was like our last stand. And Paul ends up getting taken out of a window. Wow. Hey, I'm now I'm getting a message that you need to text back somebody. Look at your phone, Drew. Okay, let me look at my phone. Hey, is my is my microphone louder now? You're fine. You're, You're fine. good. Okay. Now I had a I had a dream last night. You'll like this one, Jack. Okay. That I forgot to go to my debate class all semester. How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> And I wasn't. Gonna, I wasn't gonna have enough. You're dreaming about class. <laughs> I wasn't gonna have enough credits. And I'm like, wait a minute. I've proven my whole life I'm I'm a good debater. Was good in the general assembly. Plus, who's paying for these classes? Because I haven't been to work for a long time. I wonder who's paying for it. I gotta go tell my mom that I'm skipped a class. And I'm getting in trouble. How old are you? Yeah. That's the type of dream I had. <laughs> was last night? Mm-hmm. That was weird. Yeah. You wanna know what I dream I had last night? I do. Don't remember it sadly. Well, I still want to know it. I, well, I, I wish what I could tell you. Name? What was his name? Did you look at your text, Drew? Yeah, I did. I answered her. Okay. She's just stupid. <laughs> oh, wow. That's one of our fans. I, I don't agree with that. So, I'm the Drush. I'm not here to make friends. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, um, well, you're doing a good job. <laughs> a real good job. So, uh, there you go. Let's let's take a break, I guess. And, uh, All right. Yeah. Some commercial reviews to look into. I think they're interesting commercial reviews, and uh, I hope that you all enjoy them. I'm ready. I'm ready, Paul. This is going to be exciting. This is big, 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 big stuff coming here, people. Big stuff. And you can only expect the hottest stuff from KCTK Radio, the week review with Paul and Drew starting Jack all up in your face. We'll be back. All right. Thanks. Good job. Drew? You ask me, the world's gone to shit. But you know what hasn't gone to shit? The economy. That's right. Because Aces is going to make sure that everything's all right. That's right. We have decided to open up a brand new bank called Aces Bank. And this bank is willing to give you any kind of loan you need. You need a loan to buy a, a, a ice cream shop? We're on it. If you need to have some kind of porn website that you want to make, you know what? Aces is investor. But you know what we don't have? We don't have sad smiles that walk away. That's right. Aces Bank is here to make everything happen. Because only at Aces, Aces, Aces Bank, you can get the money you deserve. And F the government, because we'll give you money for free with a little bit of interest later on after you pay the loan back. But you can get a loan, and we will make sure it happens here at Aces National Bank. On 40 Highway. But just do it over line, online because you can't go in there anymore. So, thanks. Listen here, folks. We're in a national pandemic, okay? It's, this is a big deal, okay? I'm Jack with KCTK Radio, and I got some great, great news for you. Are you locked in your house because you don't want to get the virus? Well, guess what? A lot of people are also. Do you happen to have an elderly person older than 60 who lives with you? And if you feel like you don't want to get them sick, well, guess what? KCTK is now sponsored by Green Gables Retirement Company, and we're throwing all them old fuckers inside of there. Holy moly. <laughs> we're throwing all those old people in there. 
and we're separate, separating the weak links from the strong ones. Are you over 60? Well, get out of your kid's house and go to the Green Gables Retirement Company. We'll take care of you. We'll probably put you down. We'll do so many other things, and we'll make sure that you have a five-star experience here at the Green Gables Retirement Company, and we would love you to join us. Please remember, KCTK sent you. Green Gables, come visit us for your last visit. I am very excited to talk about a new business, and and I want Jack. I want you to help me with it, if you don't mind. Okay, I'm ready. Um, what 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 would you say is like your favorite podcast? My favorite podcast. Yeah, and the most popular podcast that you can think of. I I hate I. The most po- you want me to think of the most popular or my favorite? Both. My favorite now is the Pat McAfee show. Hmm. And that is, uh, he was the... Uh, yeah, you're wrong. Oh. The most popular and your favorite is called Amy's Eats Kansas City. Oh. And you've been wondering, where's Amy been? I, I haven't I haven't heard the, her for a while. What's going on? Well, let me tell you. She <laughs> took her love of food and started Flavor. It's your local spy shop, marketplace, and food lab. What is a food lab, you may ask? What's a food lab, Paul? Great question. I'll get to that in a minute. (laughs) But first, Flavor was born out of love for cooking, eating, traveling, and fearlessness. Try something new in the kitchen, and always a passion passion project. Years ago, oh, this is like Amy's story. Can you tell us about Flavor? Flavor. It's a store. Flavor, a modern take on a spice shop down in downtown Lee Summit, Missouri. Awesome. You're doing great. You, we, we got spices. We got olive oils. We got balsamic vinegars. Anything that you could possibly need to spice up your life. Again, that is Flavor at downtown Lee Summit, right off Main Street. Yeah, but you guys aren't open yet because of the pandemic. No, they're open. Whoa, really? Yeah, we just opened this week. So, you're telling me when I'm eating my bland, tasteless food, I can go there and get some help? You can go there, get some spices, maybe even a little bit of helping cooking advice from Amy's Appetite, KC. Okay, great. At the Flavor Downtown Lee Summit, right off Main Street. Cacao. Great. Will Avery be there? Sure. Emery? (laughs) What's his name? Emery will probably be there. Emery. Ask for Emery. Ask for Emery. And tell him Jack sent you. Tell him Jack sent you. It really is a kind of a neat store, everybody. You should go check it out. It's in uh, Lee Summit. uh, Lee Summit and Flavortown. Wow. Lee Summit and Flavortown. The intersection of Lee Summit and And Flavortown. Flavortown. I I thought it'd be nice to do a little recognition of it, and I I, uh, carved it a new one, basically. No, it was good. It was good. But you came and saved it, Jack. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, go go to Flavor, buy a bunch of stuff, and then make Amy rich, and then we can do another podcast with her, and then you'll enjoy all the good stuff. And welcome back to KCTK Radio's <laughs> Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack. It's all up in your face. No good? No, I thought that was great. I thought you were actually asking me about my favorite podcast. I was like, are you serious right now? Well, I know. She's... You're related to Amy of Amy's Appetite, right? Correct, I am. Okay. Blood, blood relatives. Okay, so I kind of put you on the spot. I know you want to say it's your favorite podcast. She's your favorite aunt. It's your favorite thing ever, but I wanted you to be open to do that. But I know you were trying to be shy and not brag on your family. Right, right. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. So you, you think she's a lot better than Pat McAnee. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay, good. It always leaves me salivating. Hey, we got a message from uh, Caller 6. I guess we're going to have to call him Texer 6. He's been listening. The show is flowing nicely. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Keith. We appreciate you, and we love you. We do. I do. I do love the guy. So um, take that. Uh, Okay, so we're going to do some uh, fun things. You guys are just on a roll. So someone... Why don't you guys just jump in here and explain what we do when we do commercial reviews? Got it. I and got why, it. I got and it. Why do we do them? That's the real question. 
Why? Okay, listen here, folks. Let's talk about the commercial review. You ever know how you just sit there while you're watching the TV and... You know, kind of like news cycles, there's always commercial cycles that always come on. You know what I'm saying, Paul? I do, yes. Okay. Well, you always know those ones that just get under your skin. Oh, just, God. you ugh, hate them. Yeah. For example, the, the Chevy commercials. You may yeah. not like, those are probably some pretty critical commercials that a lot of people don't like that you might, most people might know. So we take these commercials that just irk us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Look at your dirt. And we rate them. We watch them. We analyze them. We figure out what makes them good, what makes them bad, what the ugly from the creative, the boring to the stinky, and we give it a rating mm -hmm. at the very end on how much we like the commercial. Hey, this, kid's, uh, this kid over here is on fire, Drew. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. What's a computer? What's a computer? Yeah. Well, let me go get my hose and spray you down, <laughs> little idiot. So you do a great thing there. There's a lot of podcasts that will review a TV show or a movie. That we're the it's, only ones that do a commercial, and you're going to see more commercials than you are of those other things. A lot of people don't realize that, like, commercials are like real media. Like, they're, they they send messages. They yes. they are a part of modern culture, and they're pretty important. And I have some um, good ones. I have, actually I have a, a bad ones first, and then uh, we're going to uh, look at a good one. Look at what I think is a really great one. So, and you're also missing the point that commercials. Are way more than movies. I mean, there are way more commercials than there are movies. That is true. And Doug. Okay. <sighs> That's one we're going to do. Let me see if I can share it to Drew so Drew can check it out as well. Uh, share. How well, do you do that? You got to click it. You got to click the green arrow. Green, okay. And then click I want to share that. Okay. And then click share. Yep, you got it. Okay. This is a real dumb one. Now, we, we've talked many times about how stupid um, Liberty Mutual commercials are. Yes. Do you remember the one I named, I, my, I I, named my car Doug? I hate, I and you're going to kill me for saying this. Yeah. They're getting better. Oh, God. I oh, hate God. to break. They're not as bad as Brad. Brad was oh, a. Oh, Brad. That's, I said Doug, didn't I? Sorry. Brad, what, Brad, those commercials were not good. Well, here's their new thing where it's an. Well, this I think this one explains it. Doug. And Doug. They're on a mission to tell people Liberty Mutual customizes car insurance. So you only pay for what you need. His name is Lemo because it's short for Liberty Mutual. His name is Doug because it's short for Douglas. They're not just guys in yellow. I just noticed a problem. So, Drew, I mean, you can tell this is this is like based on some type of 1970s, 1980s uh, buddy action action show. And but one's a bird, a big, not even a cute ostrich. <laughs> it's a lemu because it rhymes with lemu. It's an emu. Emu. Uh, sorry, emu. Le lemu, lemu is Liberty Mutual. Yeah. Liberty Mutual. I mean, Renew. this is the one that explains a little bit. Do you guys like that one at all? I do. I give that one a. Uh, uh, um, I'll give that a a plush seven. Okay. I absolutely find it to be a flaccid six, wow. but it's a nice try at doing an '80s theme. Here's okay. here's now this commercial particularly. I'll go ahead and give a, a hard four. A hard four. My thing that I'm getting upset. Sorry, this is still talking about the insurance commercials. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed that all the insurance commercials just kind of have their little phrase? Pay for what you need. Say 15 percent or more on Geico. Name your price tool with with Progressive. They all got their own little shtick, and then yeah. they they build their commercials off of them. Yes. You ever notice that? Yeah. I just felt like pointing that out to you. Sorry. Okay, so that was like the montage one. Yeah. Here is one called Speed. 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 It's a drug. They're having different, like, uh, different commercials or different episodes of them. And Doug. You want to describe the action? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's a... I can save you! Oh, money that with was Liberty funny. Mutual. Oh. We customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. 
then they stop. <laughs> so they rush up to on the side of this gal, give her a business card, and then stop when they could have just given it to her safely. Yes. And could have caused a wreck and brought up her insurance. Right. Only pay for, for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. Now that's what you call earworm. Uh, your thoughts on this one, Drew? You want to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and give it a soft four. Whoa. Let's go tell people they'll only pay for what they need. Yeah, dude, need. I'm going to give that one a, like a... I'm going to give that one a dancing six. Dancing six? I'm going to give that one a, a, a soft two. Soft? And really? So stupid. You really hate these commercials that bad. I do, and most of the... I, I gotta... I'm going to put this as part of the equation. They play too much. If they played it less, how do you think you would feel? I would go from a soft two to a hard two. Because I hate to break it to you, but this... I think these are way better than, like, the Chevy commercials. Like, I'd much rather look at these ones. Yeah. I'll give you that. Do you think they're better than Brad? The car named Brad? Oh, yeah, dude. They're on a complete... See, it's funny because... They started making fun of that format, like with the fake actor dude, and yeah. then they started doing like they, they are getting better. Like that Brad one, that one I didn't think that one was very funny. That was like their one of their first commercials, also. Right. Like you can't judge them on the first one. So they're, they're developing. They're getting better. I hate them. I hate them so much. I think That's me though. That's I think what it's I think. Too cutesy with the limu emu. Um, I don't know what they're doing. This poor animal with the shirt on and the glasses. He looks to be chilling, honestly. He looks. He looks weird because fun. that bird can kill like anything. Really? You think? Yeah, I, it's got really sharp talons. I think I'd Thanks. strangle it. Thanks. I saw it on on that dynamite. Uh, yeah, the crocodile hunter. So it could, could it kill a man? Uh, yeah, he said it could kill a guy. Wouldn't it be cool if he killed Doug? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> You get it on tape. Wow, that'd be awesome. Okay, so that's one I, I think is... Now, here's here's one that I came across that I thought was a good commercial. And this is for a product which is a hearing aid. Okay. Okay. Let's bring it up here. It's called uh, Ergo. So here we go. You're an Ergo. I got him. What? <laughs> thanks for having us this weekend, Mrs. Darcy. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Of course, and thank you guys for these gorgeous flowers. So thoughtful. Hey, did you bring up? Did you bring the condoms? What's up? What? Condoms. Con condor. Condor. Why would I say con condoms? Condoms, condoms Charlie. <laughs> she wants to know if you brought any condoms. Yeah, I brought some. Eargo, a virtually invisible <laughs> with high quality sound and lifetime support. Okay. So, Drew, you want to describe what that commercial was that we just heard? So, uh, a guy decided to go with his girlfriend to his parents' house. And her, I think it's like a Mother's her, Day, right? Her parents' house, right? Yeah, her parents. Yeah. Oh, it's her so parents? Thinking that her father was deaf because he hasn't gotten those ear, ear goes, asked if he had brought condoms because she wanted to get a ranking. And here's what I will say about mm -hmm. that commercial. Yeah. Very good commercial. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just going to come out to that. But um, what, a, what a bro. What a bro listening and helping her out. Also, what makes that girl think that she should ask that question right then and there? I don't, I don't get that part, but you know. Could she, yeah, I mean, they could have stepped away, and she'd be like, "Hey." Dude, yeah, but why she, why, why does she want the nut in the middle of the it. kitchen? She wants it bad. Why does she want it in the middle of the kitchen when she just gave her mom flowers? Because, like, she needs the nut there. Because she wants to live out of fantasy, like off a of Pornhub. She wants to get never, that, get that video. You've never really satisfied a woman before, have you? I've satisfied a sometimes woman before. They, sometimes they can't wait. They oh, we should not. It, <laughs> and they need it bad. They need it. They need it bad. Yeah. But she needs the nut right there. It's like, you know, it's like J.G. Wentworth. It, you know, they need it now. They just need it now. All right, so that was hilarious, I thought. Now, here is a, another Eargo commercial, which I think is funny as well. Well, we'll be oh, wait. wait, we let's, before we do this other one. We what, never ranked it. Yeah, what do you give, uh, Drew, start with you. What do you give uh, that one? 
a hard nine. Yeah, I, I got to give it a hard nine. I give it a loud nine. Yeah, loud, loud nine. See what a dick Jack, Jack is. He started this thing that we went along with because of his good improv, and now he's, oh, I'm changing things. You're fun. Yeah, I'm, a lo- I'm loud. I'm soft. I'm I'm sorry. It's called being it's called being uh, not a team player, Jack. Once you there's no I in team. I didn't realize the trend that I had started. My fault. Yeah. I, it's what, like you, AKAs. It's what happens. Right what happens when you become famous? Okay, here we go. Day, so. Here we go. Here's another ear good commercial. Honey, remember to slaughter the tomatoes with the nun. <laughs> <laughs> remember to water the tomatoes when you're done. Sometimes hearing isn't easy. Oh, you shouldn't wear those. Wear these thongs instead. (laughs) Oh, you shouldn't use those. Try these tongs instead. Lick a carp. Looking sharp. Woo! That smells like bum's feet. Smells like some feast. Share something you've misheard in our Hear It Right oh, contest wow. for a chance to win a free pair of Ergo devices every week. Go to Ergo.com today. Terms and- Okay, that's Ergo. Will you guys describe that one? Go ahead, Jack. Um, so basically, this dude uh, can't hear shit, and it makes it show like what it sounds like he heard versus what the people actually said to him and it actually like puts it in a visual perspective so instead of like licking a carp it said looking sharp but like he thought yeah. it said yeah. look carp just like you know uh, uh can you blow me where the pampers is and can wh- you show me where the campus is oh <laughs> that, was, that was a good one <laughs> can you sh- okay okay um yeah, um, so what would you give, what, what do you give that one, Drew? I'm going to give it a very soft three because it wasn't as sexy as the other one. You're going to give it a soft three because it wasn't as sexy as the last one. <laughs> Correct. It wasn't sexy. I want sexiness in my commercials. <laughs> Where's the sexy, Jack? Where is it? It ain't there. If it, if it, it isn't there. If it it's two soft, middle-aged men who can't hear dick. If it gets a soft three, it ain't, it ain't very sexy, I'll tell you that. Right. I don't need to look I'm, at Poppy all day. <laughs> I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it a hard six, which is lower than the other one, because it, we kind of got the joke the first time they did it. We kind of knew what was going on. Yeah. Down Make sure bit. to slaughter the tomatoes, the tomatoes with, with the, the nun. nun. Yeah. Do it. Do it the Ergo way. <laughs> so, listen, the Ergo way. Do you know anyone who needs Ergos? Um, yes. Yeah, I know somebody. My Who's step, it? my step grandfather. Your step grandfather. Your grandfather. My grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely needs. He needs an Ergo. Uh, yeah, he can't really hear anything. Yeah. Would you ask your girlfriend, it, or if would you tell your girlfriend you brought condoms in front of him? He wouldn't hear it. Yeah, I was going to say, he wouldn't hear it, so sure. Yeah. Do you know anyone needs ear goes? Yeah, I know him. He's my grandfather. Is that who you're talking about, too? Yeah, my grandfather needs it. Yeah, he's like, he. let's give the guy a break. He is 103 years old. That's true, he is. He's lived a long time. He's older than Dracula. So that's our commercial <laughs> review. Um, we tried to balance it out with I thought one. You guys, you liked all of them, Jack, right? Yeah, I thought they were all good. And you yeah, liked- yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown noser. Where were you? Um, I get, I'm probably at an average soft four. I'm, I'm not saying where you are right now when your wife walked in the room. I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh. You, you. I thought there was a good one and then a bad one. I actually, yeah. a bad one and then a good one. Yeah, the condoms were uh, the probably the best one. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. This is what we do. They should they should get together with Trojan. <laughs> do a dual commercial. And they'd be all like, "If you wore Trojan, you'd hear it." <laughs> right. She'd be pleasuring and everything like that. See where the glowworm goes. Yeah. What? <laughs> See where the glowworm goes. What? 
Drew? Yeah. Jack doesn't understand this stuff. He's still a young man. He's never... I, I'm not picking uh, up. There are glow-in-the-dark yeah. condoms, Jack. At yeah. one point, there Drew? are. Where... Drew. This is for Is, is there ones with, with, like, fingers on the end of it? Yes, Jack. Yes, Just, there is. He doesn't know. He needs to go to, uh, talk to his priest about this stuff. Oh, his priest. Uh, no, I talked to my sponsor. <laughs> Wait, you have a sponsor? Yeah, my confirmation sponsor. I know for a fact for confirmation sponsor doesn't know shit about that topic. No, but I I I was told that he knows everything and I can talk to him about anything, so I can go talk to my confirmation. When it comes to pleasing a woman, you've talked to the wrong guy. Okay, (laughs) let's take a quick break and uh, we'll be right back with more KCTK Radio's week review with Paul and Drew and Jack, who happens to be here and all up in your face. something new to watch well i got a show for you i am harry stewartson is starring in a new hulu hit series with not only is it going to be animated but it's with your favorite cryptids that's right he's hanging out with gary the mothman jerry the bigfoot the thin man bloody mary and the guy that lives under your bed the boogeyman that's right he's in a new show because he is a failing actor and he needs new work and so he decided to do an animation he also is producing it and gary stewartson is going to be a reality tv show in a cartoon it's going to be wild so check it out this hulu this weekend and tell him that the drew sent you only on Hulu will you see Gary Stewartson and Little Dicky together in their new upcoming cartoon called what's it called, Drew? The Cryptids. The Cryptids on Hulu. I love Little Dicky. I want to tell you guys about a good product that I found. Listening to the internet and the internet station. Good friend of mine, Tom Gooley, talked about this. You know Tom, he and I served in the... Uh, um, it was a clandestine group. And we don't like to talk about ranks and everything. But we, we served together. And we uh, have a bond like no other. Me and Tom, we're best friends. And so he has... A show, a radio show, on the internet, and he always he told me about something. He said, "Paul, if you want to change your life, which I did at the time, he goes, you need to get yourself some Ranger Rob pet poopy bags <laughs> with handles. They're custom designed to meet the needs of all dog owners looking for a better quality dog waste basket. It's deeper, it's wider, it's ensured users do not touch the dog waste, but." There's a caveat on that. If you want to touch the dog waste, you can. But the way Rob has made these these wonderful products, let me get them out here because Drew and Jack are so full of it, I carry them around. <laughs> have to. You don't have to touch the dog poo poo. But uh, you can. But if you don't want to, which most people don't, get some of these. Here, go ahead, Jack. Take a look at that. Anyway. So Tom told me about these. It's it's uh, the box dispenser is easy. It's out the back. Ranger Rob pet poopy bags are really different and cost effective. They're biodegradable. They smell good. They smell good. Can you believe that? Try a dog poop bag that really works and doesn't cut corners on usability. The dog waste bag is designed for you in mind. I got mine. This one for only eight ninety five. Eight ninety five on Amazon, but you can also go to www.rangerrobshop.com So check it out. It's my favorite product, and I want you to get some poopy bags. And hey, Paul, up. I need I need one of those right now. I just shit myself. If you were in studio, we'd be fine, but we don't have that. But you know what? Rob will probably he's so innovative, he'll probably come up with the Zoom-style poop bag soon enough. But anyway, when you get them, and you go to the website, Make sure you tell them Giddy sent you. Because Giddy, D 
the official non-sponsor mascot of Poop Bags. Poopy Bag! And welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack, who's all up in your face. I don't know if you guys know this or not. What? I do a podcast with Chris Whining called Past Week, Next Week. Yes. We are simulcast. I guess we're rebroadcast, not simulcast. We are rebroadcast on the Good Talk Radio station. Did okay. you know that? I did not. One of the things, one of the things they said, hey, we want you to join our our, sh- our network Tuesday nights, but we need you to do live plugs for Poopy Bag. I'm like, what? I, I bought these before. I bought these for my for my own dogs because Tom Goley told me to. So I'm also on this program trying to sell these things. Well, you wondered why I was using this as a live read. Because most of our libraries are not real. Did yes. you know that? Yes. Did you know Wait. that? Wait. Wait. <laughs> They're not real? This is real. This is a real product. Mind. Is this a new Mind. game that we just have to Whoa. find something random on Amazon and make a commercial for? No. This is... I got to do commercials on our other podcast to be on that network. It's part of the... You know, just like any other radio show here, here's some product for you. But it's like... You're telling me a product I already use. So you were already using it. I already bought it. I already had it. Because I have three dogs in this house now. So, and I don't know if you know this or not, but dogs poop. <laughs> but no one really cares about dog poop. Nope. They really don't. They only, well, I mean, they care about dog poop because they care about the news of the Druish. Drew, I'm going to turn you up. I've got some text and some feedback that people can't hear you very well. I, it's turned up all the way. So what I don't know microphone what microphone I gave you? The microphone, remember, it didn't work very well. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. See, uh, C-3PO's yeah. penis didn't work. So, it is what it is. Now, this is old news, and I never got to talk about it on the show. But did you know the Duck Dynasty dude almost got shot? Which one? What? I don't know. One of the dudes. Uh, <laughs> one of his houses was shot up. Did you know about that? No, tell me. Yeah, so authorities announced the arrest of a man in connection with the drive-by shooting at the Louisiana State of Duck Dynasty star Willie Robertson. That show's still made? Are they done? Uh, No, because they did some homophobic stuff, and so the show's not on anymore. Um, Daniel King Jr. was booked into a correctional center after two homes in West West Monroe were struck by gunfire on Friday afternoon, which is in April 27th. Just letting you know. Not that long ago. Right. Ochita Parish Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post, no one was injured in the shooting. Thank goodness for the Duck Dynasty beard because it probably blocked the bullet. See? Beards come in handy. Um, it looks like they were just spraying bullets across my property, Robertson had told News Star. Both homes are part of the estate belonging to Robertson, and one of the stars of the reality show that duck hunting ran from 2012 to to 2017. Is there any way that you could tell me who wrote this article? <laughs> oh, you really want to know? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the God. <laughs> I have to report Fox News, guys. It's hard-hitting journalism. Are you surprised? You guys get your heads out of your asses? Are you surprised by this, Jack? No. No. Okay. That's why I, that's why I do Fox News. It's funny. Okay. It's stupid. <laughs> now, did they know this guy? Was there a grudge? No, was, he was just being. What was the motive, sir? Yes, what, was there a thank motive? You. Thank you. Yeah, he he hated beards so much that he was trying to get rid of them. I don't think by that's shooting right. up one of the cornerstones of beards. You know what? You know what I just realized? What? That at, at all times there is one one famous group of hillbillies, crazy hillbillies, Duck Dynasty. Now we got Joe Exotic. Like who's yeah. that? Like, oh, yeah. like yeah. it's nice. Uh, yeah, I like it. And then there were some people. I would say Joe Exotic's more of a redneck. No, it's a, he, would, he's the same. He still counts. I wouldn't call him a hillbilly. I call him a redneck. Now I okay. This surprises me a little bit because drive-by shootings are such. I mean, you hear them in the urban core all the time. I've never heard of a drive-by shooting from to a white supremacy before. <laughs> you know? 
And you know, you learn something new every day, right? I mean, this should have been a why, dude. <laughs> Again, I think this is cultural appropriation. Um, I think the whites are trying to take over. May um, I? May I? I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I was yeah, just hold on. Let the white guy talk. Go I was ahead. just gonna ask if we could talk about the black guy that was jogging and got shot and stuff. You guys know about? No, nah, that's that too sensitive. Oh, okay. Really People, we we care about that. This guy, we don't really care about. We can talk about that. I mean, I mean, I think that's news. Uh, here, let's let's set you up. Let's make it a segment. And everything. Let's let's do the. Wait, no, I, I, here's Jack with things that he thinks are funny. Go ahead, Jack. Go ahead, racist pe piece of shit. I'm not saying this is funny. Oh. Come on, honky, tell us how you feel. What were you saying? I'm just saying it relates. <laughs> like they were, there was a drive-by shooting to a white supreme to a alleged white supremacy people. Mm -hmm. Well, just the other day, like, the exact opposite happened. White supremacy people went out and killed somebody. Yeah. That was They're not technically part of white supremacists, though, but they are racist pieces of shit. Yeah. Don't you think it's terrible that... I think that what happened was terrible. Yeah, I think it is, too. That's awful. He, that was, the guy was just jogging in the street, and then they these two people, who look like Drew and his father, <laughs> decide to go in their pickup pick em up truck and chase the guy down. And then kill him. I can't believe how fat you think I look. That guy is fat. I do not look anything like him. Now, that other guy does look like my father. <laughs> okay. So, I... Any... How fat do you think I am? Eh, about seven. Yeah. Oh, just a hard seven or soft seven? Definitely a soft seven. A soft seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't give a rat's ass. I don't give a rat's ass. Let me say this as respectfully as I possibly can. Would you please this come Joe Exotic? yourself and leave me alone? Where, no. where's that from? Ding 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 I wanna do hood rat stuff with my friend. I wanna do hood rat shit with my friend. I wanna do it cause it's fun. Fun to do bad things. Hey, you know what? I forgot to share this. I got a song I want you guys to uh, to listen to. It's from Sand Night Live, everybody. I'm stuck in the core, got nothing to do. I miss my friends, they miss me too. Sick of watching shows and talking on Zoom. Hiding from my mom. Is this Dave the Peterson? Sick of the same you see his new movie? How's it going? How you living? That got announced? Looks fucking awesome. The same repetition. Grow a stash, shave your head, work out. That's for bitches. Tired of all the tomfoolery. Tired of my boy who still wears all his jewelry. Tired of sitting in the dark. Got nothing to watch already. Did Ozark hands. Sandy is now my best friend. Using it so much, it's chapping my hands. I can't wait for all this to end. So we can go back to doing normal. Stuck with my fam, I can't get out. You never heard this before? For like two months, been on my couch. Running out of things to talk about. Yeah. It's quarantine in my house. I'm going crazy and crazy and crazy. I'm going crazy and crazy and crazy. Yeah. I'm done with selfies, so don't even ask. Staying in the house in an underwear mask. Only pet my dog with a baseball mitt. Making my own bread and it tastes like sh I, I, I broke my leg two weeks ago, but I'm too scared to go to the hospital. Never go outside because I might see my neighbor using both sides of my toilet paper. Wife tried to kiss me, I straight up denied her. It's the NBA and I miss Rob, Rob Schneider. Schneider. You can do it! No! Send me! Come on! Yeah, the grub up guy, leave food on the street. I'm so bored, I'm doing songs with me. Stuck with my fam, I can't get out. Just get out. Crazy. 
Okay, is that hit or miss, Drew? We think. I think it was great. Who was that? Pete Davidson and Adam Sandler. Oh, fantastic. Jack, what do you give it? I think it was funny. I give it a hard nine. I, I'll give it a. I give it. I give it a hard nine. I give it a seven. Hard seven. Okay. Wait, well, he said it. Yeah. No what, loud. No. What about this? Spoken. What about this one, guys? This is a public service announcement. Get your fucking kids in the fucking house. 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 I'm not, I'm not asking, please. I'm telling motherfuckers, stay your little punk, dirty, shit-stained ass inside. Get your fucking kids in, in the fucking house. I'm not asking. Pete Davidson? Fucking kids. That's Michael Rappaport, and it goes on for like 10 minutes. Oh, my God. It's very vulgar. It's so vulgar. It's Vulgarity very... needs to be brought down a notch. Oh, yeah. It sure does. Dang it, it sure does. God it... damn it. But seriously, get your fucking kids back in the house. Sure. What's wrong? What's wrong? You look like you're you're pooping right now. Do you need your poopy, uh, Paul, poopy you bags? Do you, your, do you need your poopy bags? Is it poopy time? Is it poo poo time? You need poo -poo a, you take a little poopy? Do you need a little diaper? You need a little wipe up? You need a little poo poo? I'm wipe your ass for you. The vulgarity, the vulgarity, the vulgarity. <laughs> The vulgarity, the vulgarity, the vulgarity. It just took me so long to get that. <laughs> I know, because he pooped in his pants. He was taking so long. Sometimes you just got to push it out, bite your lip, and do this together. All right? Come on. We're going to defeat this. <laughs> push. <laughs> so, anyway, to uh, I did have some good news that I wanted to share with you guys when it comes to coronavirus. <laughs> You ready for some good news, guys? I'm always ready. It's a claim. It's Superman. Okay, this comes from Yahoo Finance. Just when you think there's 30 million people who are unemployed and over 80,000 people have died, here's some good news for you guys. Bring it on. These Americans ranking, raking in billions from the coronavirus pandemic. As 30 million Americans have lost their jobs over the past six months amid the coronavirus pandemic, America's billionaires are becoming even richer. I think it's because mostly of them are just investing, aren't they, in the right spot? Well, according to a new report for the Institute of Policy Studies, a left-leaning think tank, over the past six weeks, American billionaires have seen their wealth increase by $406 billion, a boost of just under 14% of their net worth. So, we're talking... Thanks, Trump. Bezo and people like that, they're still doing okay. And I think that's just great news. I was worried about them. I was a little worried if the Shark Tank could continue. I, I, and, 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 you, I, can I back up a second yeah, on this? Just, we, just, I think it's crazy that people expect them not to succeed. People expect, if everybody else is hurting, that these people, but they have like the best finance people in the world that tell them where to put their money. Like They're going to be making money always. I don't think no matter what happens, I think they're always going to be making money. No, what, and they they may be taking advantage and getting more money, but like what that's what they hire finance people what for. What should be happening is everyone takes a cut of what they're making. But they've made more money. Most people have been losing money. Roughly half. Hey, I was worried about them. I'm glad you let me know because I was I I've been sleepless nights worrying about them and making sure they get their money. You remember? Right, thank you, Paul. Remember how we celebrated Drew when we got the Trump's tax cut? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you made us go on. I mean, I felt like I felt like maybe he he sent me a letter personally and was like, "Hey, I love you, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that you get the tax cut that you deserve. You're one of the one percenters, Drew. Make it happen." Listen to this. Roughly half of the world's billionaires have seen their wealth increase since the beginning of the year, according to the report. Eight billionaires, in in particular, saw their wealth increase by over one billion each. Fantastic! I was so worried about it. And you know what? That means it's more money for us in our pocket. You know, we're gonna make millions. Yeah, because we. Yeah, I'm glad the government. And I invested all of my money in Aces. Yeah. So Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, which is good because expenses for a kid. Drew, you can tell Elon. I mean, it's expensive, and I totally get it. You gotta make sure you have the the diapers, the mm -hmm. nanny. 
the butler, the nanny, the second nanny, um, you know, and then you got the cars that, that you know, you got to have more accessibility for the baby in the car, okay? The, so uh, more room, car seats that aren't expired. I mean, come on. The CEO of Microsoft is getting money. Eric, you know who Eric Yon is? No. Well, tell me about him. You know who he is. He's the CEO of Zoom. What? He made, Man. He's made $2.5 billion. You know what? Thanks, Eric. What a I guy. really like your platform, considering like it's that. making people hard to hear me. Hey, yeah. That guy, he lucked out. That dude was in the right place at the right time. Despite the vo volatility of the markets, Collins says the rising stock prices, market caps of companies in tech, delivery services, and video conferencing are probably the reason behind the wealth surge. It's exactly what you said, Drew. They know where to put Jack. their money. Uh, Drew, uh, what's your name? Jack. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know what? I'm the one that said it. I don't know. About, I don't know. He's fucking liar. No. Not at all. I've I've been this whole time. I thought you were Jack and you were. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks, Lindsay and and Audrey. No. Um. So yeah. So that's good news. And uh, we're opening up. There's no one dying anymore, and billionaires are making money. Also, the whole thing's been a hoax anyway. So what are you talking about? I mean, yeah. everybody's not at the emergency rooms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Do you have anything else for the show? Yeah, I uh, be sure to spade new to your kid, your, your pets. Why do you always say? Why does he always say that? Does he say at the end of every show? Did he always want to spade new to his child or something Come like? Come on, spade and neuter them kids. I mean you puppies. You just put mute on him, Jack. You're able to make it into the KCTK studios. What do you think about that? About neutering your dog? No, about being here. Do you oh. feel no, it's pretty cool. I don't think you guys understand. This studio's gotten upgrades, bro. This place is cool now. Yeah. Oh, dude, you weren't supposed to tell the people that he's there because Mac even said we're not supposed to be there. No, no, we no are, we're six feet apart. We're eighteen feet apart from each other. Oh, that's right. Okay. I hey, I just I'm looking out for you guys. Okay, you know what? The health department getting out of our assets. You're actually social distancing from us. You're, you, how far away are you? I am 300 million miles away. We can make out 300 because million and one or whatever. I'm in Italy. What are you talking about? He's in Italy. That's probably like 5,000 yeah. miles away. Yeah. So, you know how cheap it is to go to Italy right now? Well, like how, isn't that crazy? How cheap? I don't know how cheap it is, but my wife was looking at tickets and it looked very cheap. It sounded very cheap. Where would you go in Italy? Um, I would love to go to Rome. Apparently, they're allowing, they're paying for your hotels and stuff like that, and they'll uh, take you on like tours and shit. So whatever you want, like, I would love to go see some ruins, see some artwork and architecture. That'd be awesome. Why don't you start with going to the uh, Olive Garden? <laughs> oh my goodness, we we usually don't uh, do this, but we're gonna go ahead and take a call. Oh shit, caller, we were about to uh, be off the air, but go ahead. Okay, great guys, it's your old friend Macca. Tom, Tom Gooley comes on at 8.30. I was just uh, calling in. They called me and said that you're going really long. So just check it in. we got to check in with our friend Tom Gooley, 8.30 on KCTK Radio. He comes on at 5. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's going long, so thanks for the show tonight. And they want you to turn the, the, the uh, lights on in the studio. Look, baby Jack, looks like he's in the dark. <laughs> We don't have. We're trying to conserve energy. Over yeah, we're over trying to time. save you money, Mister Mac. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, another show. I was gonna say another great show. Hey, so you did another show. So thanks, guys. Have a good night. Okay. Thanks, Mac. Appreciate that. So also, that I want to announce that next week, uh, next week we will talk about our strike. Okay. All right. Uh, so anyway, thanks, folks. Uh, right. KCTK Radio's week review with Paul and Drew. Yeah, Jack. Jack is all up in your yeah, face. Yeah, I love strikes. And uh, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Good show. This has been a KCTK production produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. 
Listen to live programs at kctkradio.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you. Actually, what? I was going to ask you to watch it now, but then I was like, nope. You're what? It, wait a minute. Is it? Is the movie on now? No, it's about to come out. Oh, okay. It was called The King of Staten Island. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look at the the uh, the trailer for it. I guess yes. you're telling me. Yeah, do that on YouTube. Okay, Drew, good job, buddy. I do what I can. I do. I love you. Okay, so I, I, too, man. I personally believe that. See you later. I think that we should. I think. Come on. I think that you should use the other microphone last from last time. Okay. The uh, just the one that's in your. In your um Oh my computer. I guess I'll do this. Yeah. I'll talk to you like a human. Yeah. The one in my computer? Yeah, because for some reason like Lindsay and Phil were saying they couldn't hear you and I, I had it cranked up. I did too. I I cranked it up uh during a break. Yeah. Um which well, is weird because whenever I use my internal speaker you get an echo. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of a problem. Get you a. Uh, we need to get you a. Uh, I need to get a new one of these, maybe. No, just a, uh, a USB uh, microphone. Well, the one you gave me is a USB. Oh no, it isn't. That's right. That's right. We've talked about this. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should. The only dicks. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll find one. I'll get one for you. Okay. Sounds good. All right. See you later, dude. All right, see you Saturday. Yeah, bye.